What is up guys, Christian here from Weaver. Today I'm going to show you how to backup, restore and update your iPhone. This will work for all iPad models, for iPod Touch or for any other iPhone model out there. Now it doesn't matter if you have a Windows computer or an Apple computer, this method will work. So we're going to do it together step by step. Now just to make something clear, if your iPhone has a passcode lock and you forgot the password, you will need to do a hard reset of the phone. So if that's your case, just go ahead and click on this video. Now the first step is to download and install the latest version of iTunes. You can click on the link on the description of this video or you can download it directly from apple.com. Once you have installed iTunes, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the iPhone to the computer. So once your iPhone is plugged in, go ahead and launch iTunes. And you will see all the information of your phone by clicking on the iPhone tab. Alright, so uh, if you're in this tab, you will see all the information about your iPhone. So you can see which version you have and um, all the detailed information about your phone. So we're gonna start by doing a backup. So this will backup all the information of your phone, like contacts, phone numbers, uh, images, pictures, emails, everything. So just click Resist Backup now. So it will take a while. It depends on how many information you have on your phone. In my case, I don't have any information, so it's gonna be really quick. But it can take up to a few minutes, a few, even a few hours in some cases. So leave it there until it's done. And once it's done, we're gonna go ahead and complete the restore. So we're gonna do a full factory restore and it's gonna to update to the latest iOS version. So we're gonna click where it says restore iPhone. So I'm gonna click here. And you just click restore. It's basically telling you that it's gonna erase everything, but we have created a backup copy, so don't worry about that. Okay, so that's it. And we're just gonna wait until the phone is fully factory restored. Now this can take between 30 minutes and up to three hours or four hours, depending on your internet connection. So just go ahead and leave it there for a while. I'm gonna leave the camera and the phone running. So uh, I'm just gonna fast forward and I'm gonna be back when the full factory reset is completed. All right, so the phone is finally done restoring guys. So after your phone is completely restored, you will get the option to install the previous backup you had on your computer or to set it up as a new iPhone. So make sure you select the latest backup you did before and we're gonna hit it where it says continue. All right, so now it will take a while until all the information you had on your computer is gonna transfer to your iPhone. So it may take a few minutes, be very patient. And once the restore from backup is completed, you will be able to uh, use your phone back on the latest iOS version. That's it guys, that's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. I hope this helped you uh, restore and do a backup on your iPhone. Please let me know in the comment section down below if this method worked for you or not. I read always all your comments.